So when you order your injectors, you're going to need to know obviously what size they are and also the injector deadband time. So this is the voltage on the side here and you've got your PSI for your fuel pressure. So depending on what fuel pressure you're running, your injector dead time is going to be slightly different. So you will need to know what your fuel pressure is. If you're using the original standard fuel pressure regulator on the Honda, it is 45 PSI. So this first column is going to be your best bet to go with. If you do have a fuel pressure regulator, you're going to choose one of the pressures you're going to operate your fuel system at. I'm just going to go 43.5. So you'll just need to key the car on, not running, and set that pressure. So I've got mine at 43.5 PSI as you saw. So next we're just going to jump in the car on the Honda and update the settings. So once you've got Honda open and your ECU is online, you want to go online, download, logging, then you're going to go to parameters, fuel injector, our stock is still going to be 240, current injector side is going to be 550, and then we're going to enter these values in here, so 8 volts. Please note that these injector dead times are dependent on the brand of injector you're using. These numbers are specifically for the 550cc Bosch injectors that I purchased. Then we're going to go update changes. around that 14 mark. 